said the royal sorcerer to Hatshepsut, with this amulet, you and your descendants are endowed by the goddess Isis with the powers of the animals and the elements. You will soar as the falcon soars, run with the speed of gazelles, and command the elements of sky and earth. 3,000 years later, a young science teacher dug up this lost treasure and found she was heir to the secrets of Isis. And so, unknown to even her closest friends, Rick Mason and Cindy Lee, she became a dual person, Andrea Thomas, teacher. Oh, mighty Isis. And Isis, dedicated foe of evil, defender of the weak, champion of truth and justice. set it up right here. There, that does it. Let's hold it up and see how it looks. Whew. Just looking up there makes me dizzy. Hey, Stephanie, give me the corner of that poster. What for? I'm going to put it up. But Mr. Young said he'd do it and he should be here soon. Well, who wants to wait? Hey, his orders were not to go up that ladder. What, does he think we're too scared to do it ourselves? I'll show him who's scared. Steve, please don't. He's got mushrooms and uh, pepperoni, meatballs, strawberry jam, onions. Strawberry jam? Well, yeah, but you have to see it to believe it. Uh, uh, how's 8 o'clock? This I have to see it to believe. 8 o'clock. OK. Pizza and strawberry jam. Come on down, Steve. Yeah, you don't have to show off for us. Hey, hey, don't worry. It's a cinch. Yeah. Hold it, Steve. I'll go get another ladder. Get some help! Hurry! Mighty ice, ice. Come on, quick! Get, get, get some help, huh? Okay, I'll go upstairs. Okay. You didn't have to pull me up. I could have done it myself. There's no shame in needing help. Yeah, you think I'm a puny weakling just because I'm small. Well, listen, I don't need your help. Everyone needs help sometimes. That's easy for you to say. You can do anything. Steve, you're smart enough to know that's not the point. Isis wasn't trying to put you down. She just wanted to make sure you didn't get hurt. Taking dangerous chances doesn't prove you're a man. Oh, yeah, but there was there nobody... There are no buts to... about it. What Steve has to do is remember to use the muscles he has. The ones between his ears. Come on, we better get back to our classrooms. Thank you very much, Isis. Come on. I really don't understand about Steve. He should have known better. Well, let's hope he learned a lesson and doesn't try anything like that again. I 
should have known. Hello, Chuck. You know, I think you're missing something. About Ted? No, about Steve. Oh? Haven't you noticed something curious about his behavior? Only that he walks around as if he's the most important boy in school. That's just it. He's obviously showing off. Show off. Show off. Show off. Sure, to get attention. The trouble is that Steve showing off could cause more problems. You mean the science club expedition? Maybe so. But I still think that between us, we can handle Steve and his need to show off. Well, I hope so. Everybody's looking forward to this trip. I don't want anything to spoil it. Have you seen my new hat? Oh, Rick. By any chance, are you planning to do some fishing on this expedition? I sure am. Well, then, I think you should leave that thing at home or you'll frighten the fish away. Show off! Show off, show off! George, you want to pull that for me? Can I help you, Miss Thomas? Let's see. Uh, we'll need some more kindling for the fire. Why don't you and Cindy get it? Oh, sure. Hey, Cindy. What's up? We have to get some firewood for Miss Thomas. OK, but don't go too far. I don't want anyone to get lost. Oh, no sweat. I've got my compass. But watch your step. There are traps set. Traps? Right, padded ones. The rangers trap animals and tag them for research, then let them go. They don't hurt, and they're marked with signs. But keep your eyes open. Oh, don't worry, Miss Thomas. I'll look after Cindy. Thanks, but I can take care of myself. Oh, come on. Hey, Cindy. Cindy, quit goofing off. I'll bet he has a nest of nuts. You carry him away. You know, I've never seen a squirrel's nest before. I'm going to go take a look. Hey, Steve, you can't go up there. Who says I can't? Remember what happened last time you climbed up? Oh! Oh, no! Are you all right, Cindy? I'm fine. Oh, look at that. The warning sign must have fallen down. All right, let me take a look at that. Why don't you just call a ranger so he can tag me and then let me go? Uh -huh. uh, let me try to get it open, okay? Come on, Steve. We'll be here all day if you don't go back for help. Look, let me just try and get it open. I think I can pry it loose. Never mind. Here they come. I wonder what happened to you. Old Bunglefoot locked herself right into one of those traps you warned us about. Let me see. It's okay, Miss Thomas. I think I've got it. Well, you sure put your foot in it this time, didn't you? The sign fell. Mm-hmm. A likely story. Oh. Release trap pressed down firmly on arm and hold. Oh. There we go. That was easy. Looks like I'm not the only dummy. It's only an accident. Church foot? It's fine. Hey, Steve. Oh, nothing I ever do is right. I mean, I may be little, but I could have gotten down from that ladder yesterday, and I could have gotten Cindy out. Steve, where are you going? Oh, just leave me alone. I wonder what's bugging Steve to want to make him go out in the woods like that. I was afraid he'd ruin the trip. Don't worry, you'll still get a chance to scare off those fish. I'll go after Steve. Why don't you go back to the campfire and start that barbecue? Okay, come on.
Hi, Miss Thomas. Hi, Steve. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Now, those are Bubo Virginianus. Owls, baby owls. You know a lot about birds? Kind of. What's the Latin name for that crow? <laughs> it's Corvus Corax. Only that's not a crow, that's a raven. Oh? Yeah, he's a cousin to Tut. Very good. You see, ravens are a little bigger and have a lot more ruffled feathers than crows. Well, I'm quite impressed, Steve. No, I just fool around. Bird watching is silly. Steve, don't put yourself down. Bird watching, ornithology as you'd call it, is a fine science. You know a lot about birds, and people who are good at what they do aren't silly. Miss Thomas, you really don't think that bird watching is foolish? Steve, the only people who are really foolish are the people who pretend to be something they're not. I guess you mean me, huh? One of the biggest lessons you can learn is the importance of being just you. In fact, there was a very famous and brilliant philosopher, Socrates, who once said that the most important thing in life is to know thyself. Yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, I mean, what are the girls going to think about a guy whose only muscles are between his ears? Like what Mr. Mason said. Anyway, after today, I'm not going to have any friends, especially if I have to be myself. You'd be surprised, Steve. Let's go back to camp. Okay. Well, what's the verdict? Looks a little well done to me. <laughs> I mean, how was the walk? Why don't you ask Steve? I, I guess I owe everybody an apology, huh? Listen, it's easy to come on like Tarzan compared to the guts it takes to admit you're wrong. Fortunately, there is more than one type of hero. I'm proud of you, Steve. Good. It's settled. Tell everybody that the hike we planned is on. Right, Mr. Mason. Okay, oh, good. I don't know how you did it, my dear, but I take my hat off to you. Let's just hope it lasts. It has to. I don't want anything to upset my plans. Plans? Yeah, there are a couple of fish out there with reservations in my name for tonight's fish fry. That's so? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> According to this trail guide, the fishing hole is just at the base of those mountains in Craggy Glen. Are you sure you don't want to come? Thanks, but some of the gangs still want to see the ranger station. Okay, just so everybody knows where everyone else is in case something goes wrong. Right, let's say we meet back at the campsite at 3 o'clock? 3 it is, with enough fish for a feast. Everyone who wants to go fishing, come with me. By the way, I'll do the cooking tonight. That's a deal. Okay, come on. To the ranger station? Hello. Hi. You folks the camping group from the high school? Yes, we are. Well, I don't want to worry you folks, but there's a, a, an escaped gorilla in this area. Did you say a gorilla? His name's Rufu. I'm his keeper. He was being shipped to the Henry Zoo when his cage broke and he got free. Is he dangerous? Well, not normally, no. But right now, he's probably hungry and pretty frightened. He was last seen around Craggy Glen. Well, that's where the rest of our camping group is going. Well, we'll head over there as fast as we can. Meanwhile, you better get back to your campsite. Rufu won't come near where people are about. I'm the only one he trusts. Craggy Glen. Come on, let's get back to camp. Come on, slow folks. Man, it sure is rugged around here. Whew. Yeah, off track. Is that why they call it Craggy Glen? That's right. All right, you kids stay here, and I'll try to catch up with Mr. Mason, all right? Okay, Miss Thomas. Mr. Mason, can we hold it a minute? I'm poop. Okay, everybody take five. Why the ice, 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 ice. Blow on high with me now so I can fly. It's a 
landslide. Quick, quick, everyone in that cave. Carefully and don't panic, all right? Everything will be okay. We'll just have to wait here until someone comes to help us. Okay, no, no sudden moves. Just cool it. Take it easy. Whatever it is, is just as scared as we are. I hope. Oh, great forces from time long past, help me hold this mountain fast. It's holding, Isis, it's holding. <laughs> Oh, jungle animal, awesome sight. Help my friends with all thy might. be dangerous. Dangerous? I'd say I have a friend for life. Well, I'll be. I never thought old Roof would trust anyone but me. I have a way with animals. You sure have. Okay, come on. Come on. That's a good talk. Come on. 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 Here we go. Up in the back. Up there. There, boy. Go on. That's it. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, man. Hey, did you see the way Rufu pushed that boulder? 
boy, you talk about strong. You mean you're not going to try and show us that you're stronger than he is? I might have yesterday, but not anymore. Hey, look at that. You know, that's a burrowing owl. It's one of the few birds that actually makes its nest on the ground. Why, Steve, you're an ornithologist. Yeah. I'm an ornithologist. Hey, hey, look at that one over there. Come here. Thank you, Isis. We couldn't have done it without you. It's a good thing you dropped your hat. That's how I found you. Oh, did you like it? Well, uh, be careful. It might frighten the fish away. Honey, it's just what Andrea said. Hey, she couldn't be... No. Could she?